Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Now the series is really coming to an end. All we checked everything. Now it's just security and compliance. Um, this site, protection.office.com. It's a new thing. Microsoft uh, took uh, all the security and compliance things, like um, anything that has to do with the um, overall security. Microsoft took it from individual tabs or individual services and put them together at protection.office.com uh, you can see the total score if you see that they have a secure score thing here that reflects the overall thing so this is uh, huge uh, and if you see that uh, Microsoft is saying um, that check if your servers or whatever you have is it secure or not and then import them into office 365 so this is just going to be the review of security uh sorry the protection dot um, office.com so they are actually saying advertising you check out the new home for microsoft 365 security and compliance so you have everything here and security center and compliance center oh there is another one there are actually two more let's see so this is protection.office.com for security it's security.microsoft.com so you have a few things over here so we can actually go uh, with them as well and then there is compliance.microsoft.com so it's further enhanced or it's further like uh, if you <coughs> um, like if you're worried about uh, something that or you have to quickly go about uh, something that is security related you can go directly here i'm pretty sure that it will be in uh, protection page as well and if you have something with the compliance you can directly go to the compliance uh, website so <clears throat> good to know i'm gonna review them later on uh, let's start with the the protection.office.com uh, it's the security and compliance center so welcome you can take the tour helping you on gdpr journey so it's normally it's for system admin level thing it's not for the general uh, uh, help the support guys search and investigate so basically if you remember we did that in e-discovery as well that we searched something investigated and all that so if i click on that and see where it's taking me audit so this is audit we did audit and uh, it should be somewhere here like about the auditing if I could show you right there <coughs> so audit in office 365 so it's just like in the home uh, like uh, these are just the tiles the important tiles that you uh, the Microsoft has put together but you can add your own tiles as well information and government gov governance it's about the compliance services assurance so this is like uh, uh, the bullet points so in there we have alerts permission classification data loss prevention if you uh, we talked about that in one of the videos as well records management if you remember we i think it was uh, sharepoint when talk about drm digital right media information and governance supervision threat management mail flow uh, we saw that in the exchange and we i think we had to come here as well so they took out mail flow from the exchange online and put it here data privacy search e-discovery we did that reports uh, let's click on the reports and we have service assurances so manage schedule or dashboard we saw the reports but that those were office 365 this could be something related with the uh, like uh, protection or something like sensitive information that you want to run reports from here so top five labels there is not enough data available because we nobody's been using right so there's some data available so it will be just overview or showing you what's in there uh, there's no way i could show or do something because as i said that we haven't used like in it's just me there are not some few users using uh this so we could generate data i tried whatever i can <coughs> 
So this is just a general review or what's in protection.office.com. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next one.